the decision not to charge the youth but to continue their custody underscores the intricate nature of their involvement in the case. Deputy Inspector General Elias Mutota confirmed this development, emphasizing that it is part of the ongoing efforts to safeguard the integrity of the investigation and ensure the safety of all those involved. While the specific reasons for holding the youths in custody remain undisclosed, several possibilities are being considered. It is conceivable that some or all of the 88 youth may have information critical to the case. To protect their identities and safety as potential witnesses or informants, the law enforcement agencies may have chosen to keep them in secure custody until their testimony or cooperation is needed during legal proceedings. Authorities are still probing the roles and connections of these youths in the uncovered criminal syndicates. Detaining them in custody can facilitate further inquiries without compromising their safety, impeding the investigation or infringing on their rights. Their ultimate fate hangs on the decision of the Prosecutor General, who will carefully evaluate the incidents and determine whether charges should be filed against them or whether they should be released or placed under protective custody. The case involves multiple charges relating to human trafficking, drug smuggling and other serious crimes associated with the operations of this criminal syndicate. 14 kingpins including some Chinese and three Namibian nationals have so far been charged. The nationality of all Chinese-speaking suspects are indicated as Namibians on the charge sheet. Their next court date is set for 15 February next year, providing ample time for ongoing investigations, preparation and adherence to due processes. Daniel Nadunian, BC News, Venthook.